just the greatest thing in professional wrestling ever. Well, let's get ready for it, right? I got the world by the balls. <laughs> and everything belongs to Tilcor. But everything isn't as easy as being owner of the world. Being oh, this is good. This is good, folks. This is funny. Chaos in the streets. <laughs> For being the genius mm. I am, I came up with the perfect solution. I'm going to make these people fight each other. For the ability to ask one request of me. And then maybe they'll stop bitching. I'm poor. I'm hungry. I'm being stabbed to death. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. <laughs> Welcome. This is great. One of the best videos, honestly, ever. in this film. My God. He thinks that being in this ring is going to be his big comeback. <laughs> I know you desire to seek the future. I will lift the veil of time. For it is his Who are we going to get now? The master of the third eye. Neo Look at the production in this. He's this is great. He's been great to me for a long time. Every time I think I have him cornered, he uses the power of that third eye to invade me. He says he can see the future. Kill City looking grim. You've got people in hazmat suits. Another interesting character from Kill City Cup. Like, trouble. I love this. He's led many uprisings in my city. He doesn't mind getting a little blood on his hands. After his last stunt, I made him an offer. Enter the cult, kill my enemies, and I'll clear your record. Let him be free to cause all the chaos he wants. Whether it's for peace, chaos, or a second chance, this is the Kill City Cup. He's got a spike. He's got a stab it. This is great. Look at it. No rules. And a triple threat right off the bat. Look at that. He had a spike, though. Ray is down. This Green Geo, we had her on the show. What an amazing guest. Um, what a pleasure. Neo Shaman saw where that was going, and he got the spike out of here. Oh, 
for the old back scratcher. Look at that, the wrestling is really solid in this. Can he get back to the limelight? has been third eye blinded. Look at this. Look at this. Just sharing up like look at this though, I mean Great, great wrestling to us. Great, look at his moves. Great, it's great everything. Production, on point. And love the commentary. What tricks does Hecate's Hangman have up his sleeve to capture the Kill City Cup? I'm like doing the same look as you. And there's the old back scratcher back at you. <coughs> Neo Shaman going in for the kill. Low blow, Johnny Cage style. Look at that. Maxwell may have just punched his ticket. Uh oh. Oh, oh my brick. God. I'm sure all you sickos and freaks are loving this. <laughs> oh, I spiking them. Look at that. They even got blood in the movie. That is great. Making it realistic. Dripping in it, he's hanging. This is great visuals. Uh, 
And now, the sexy, the sinister, so the radical Russian Trust. She was a member of a super secret assault force in her home country. She wants power. She wants freedom. Well, she's going to have to do what I say to get that. She thinks we have a special deal. Where the storyline comes into play here in this movie. Mr. Kill and her have an arrangement, but I'm not sure how it will go. We'll have to wait and see, but there is storyline in play. Led by a higher calling, this fearful friar looked inside and turned himself inside out. Literally. The Zipperlictic! Zip One of my favorite Kill City Cup characters right here, Zip Monk. I mean, the makeup. The, the artistry, look at it. Amazing, amazing work. Just amazing work here. Against me. Ha! And now the Zip Monk, definitely the a great character. Of malpractice. Doctor Merchant. Here's another great character. We had him on the BSW podcast. Doctor of Alchemy, David Mercury. He didn't do shit. I hate doctors. You're a bum. You're a bum and you're gonna die. <laughs> that is great, though. And again, we had a really good interview with him on the BSW podcast. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So another triple threat match here for the second match in the tournament. The good, the bad, the ugly. You decide which. Oh my god, look at the powers of Zipmunk! in Skull Gear. This is just great. Great visuals. I love it. 100% K-Fig though. Like, yeah, there's no, like, you know what I'm saying? This is wonderful. I feel like I'm in Kill City. I feel part of it. This is, this is what pro wrestling is all about. I mean, you might disagree. You might think this is campy or corny or shitty, but I love it. Look at Zipmunk. Savagery. Oh my god, I killed him! She killed him! And I love them to just watch it, like... Formulating his battle plan! Like Mortal Kombat, like Sang Soong just watching the tournament, just not really doing anything to watch it. He's strategically sacrificing the zip buck! Can anyone be 
trusted in Kill City? Again, look at that. The athleticism. It's amazing. Very entertaining. What a snake. Mixed with great commentary, mixed with great aesthetics, visuals, story. This is amazing, like I said. One of the greatest presents. Oh my god, look at that move right there. Cinematic done, but you know. Great. Big boot. Very exciting. Dr. Marguerite is very entertaining. Dr. Mercury dissecting his opposition. Masterminding more mayhem. Oh my god, they're teaming up and they just look at that little I sign of respect. Synthesis of science and religion. <laughs> Funny jokes. Double suplex. Look at that. Oh, trick. Crush seals the deal into the next round. When I promise you freaks and coins, you get freaks and coins. Oh boy. The goal. The Mervs. Mason. X. Talk about a homicidal man, man. Blood and violence. Another locked up in an asylum for a long time. Just waiting for this Another um VSW interview. E. If he makes an X! He can leave with a license to kill and torture as he pleases. He's awesome. And here's another superstar. The Haitian Voodoo Warrior. I'm not into all this superstitious hocus pocus. But he seemed quite interested in consuming the souls of the fools in the cup. <coughs> that seemed like a good idea to me. <laughs> Your Lordship, I see that your children are about to enter the ring. Lay off from the wasteland! Leon has been with me since the Great War, and his death plots have been invaluable to me on my global takeover. He wanted a chance to be in the cup just for the pleasure of it. Like Leon's great. God, this little entourage, this is wonderful. And we were going to have um, an interview with April Hunter, too, but um, it got postponed just due to weather, inclement weather in Florida, all the hurricanes and such. But we will be getting back to that at some point um, in the coming weeks. But this is another great matchup. Look at this. Look at everybody in this match. It's monsters. What wrestling was for me when I grew up. Bigger than life characters. Um, people that you wouldn't see just walking down the street. These horrific heavyweights Papa Shango like characters. You have Kane like characters even, you know, just 
just monsters, psychos, crazy, it's just beasts. I love it, I love it. it. It brings back a lot of nostalgia, what wrestling used to be. Big choke slam. And the athleticism of these big guys is great too. I mean, they can really move in the ring. These two mammoths are fighting over who gets to pick the balls. That's cool. It kind of pans out, shows us big crowd outside of like an arena. Run down city. Bones with the strength of thirteen voodoo nations. <laughs> That's great. I love to get bones on this guy. Talk to him as well. Be a great character to interview. He's possessed! Vicious. <laughs> Calling for weapons. Digging into the bowels of Kill City for more carnage. throwing herself between the mechanist and the maniac. What is she thinking? Here we go. Oh, low blow. Oh my god. Oh shit. Steamroll. Slithering in from behind. <laughs> he just threw fire in his damn face. That'll give you pyromaniacs your fix. <laughs> what is this? See a soul leave someone's body? She's Louise. Love the special effects added. It makes it that much more of a film. You just did a fatality on the guy. 
right in the middle of the ring. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Hail King Leon. Look at that. That's wonderful. I love it. Leon has laid waste to the opposition in the first round. I mean, like, why would a big corporation ever let the little man win? Think about that. Think about the logistics of that. Oh, shit. The worm. And it worked. Very athletic. And just a normal Brian Cage workout. It's like that last Luger um, forearm back in 93 with the steel plate. Going through them like a knife through butter. Butter. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see here. Destroy. 
He's unstoppable. One after another, just ripping through the talent. It's like sheep to slaughter at this point. I love it. He's a machine. He made Brian Cage look so strong in this, and like he is really strong. But like, I love it because I don't think he gets enough credit on like AEW for like such a talent that he is. Just really showcased him nicely. Really did. And I've seen him in like other promotions. I've seen the XPW he was really good, you know, pretty cool with. But you know, it's XPW. Um, I saw him in what is it, BXS? I can't get enough of this guy. But I mean, I love him. But I mean, like you know, this this is a little bit different. This is a movie. Um, and you see him in a different light. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm about to know, man. But when Mr. Kill invited me to the Kill City Cup, I couldn't refuse the offer. Because if I win, I get to go back out to Kill City and do what I do best. Havoc, chaos, and death. You think you're going to come out of the slum and leave an uprising in Kill City against me? Over my dead body. <laughs> and you notice the queen doesn't even have to say anything. She can be totally silent, just. But she's such an iconic role in the movie. It's great. That's right, homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. Sociopath has got that spike in his hand again. I think he's gonna try to fight the machine anyway. Oh boy. Circuit the machine. Oh, more special effects. Gotta love that. Very entertaining. This is more entertaining to me than any WWE pay per view, any AW pay per view. Any weekly TV show, this is just pure entertainment, plus wrestling, plus fighting, plus combat, plus, you know, far of video this games, everything, all in shut fun. down the machine? There's something in this for everyone, I love it. You know, for a while, I'll have to say, pro wrestling kind of got a little stale for me. Not because of the wrestlers or the promotions, just... Seeing the old same old and seeing a lot of, of power and domination. things kind of being redone and then seeing a lot of drama, I kind of, you know, 
Yes, lost a lot of um, stock. But um, after seeing the Kill City Dub and actually talking to a lot of these guys and hearing their enthusiasm about working on this project, you know, it really revitalized a lot of my passion for the, um, you know, for pro wrestling, for, you know, doing podcasts, for, you know, doing um, videos and such. This... Like I said, it was just and almost like a perfect spot. project. It's just the perfect blend of everything at the right ratios to make a great film. <laughs> highly, highly, like I said, entertaining. A lot of wrestling I watch on TV, you know, I'll be on my phone, I'll be checking this and that. I'm actually like watching this the kind machine of machine won't stop till he kills this man. My phone's right there, it's like going off. People are hitting me up. Um, but, like I said, this is like, and I've watched this before too, that's the funny thing. But, you know, like a good horror movie or a good um, action movie, I'll watch it over and over again. Why? Because I like it. I enjoy it. Um, the same thing with a good wrestling movie. I think we're seeing the future movie. of violence. That's what I call it. I don't think it's a pay-per-view. I don't think it's a show. This is a movie. This is a massive action. But it's a movie. It's a film. Look at that. The machine. And you got more special effects going on. Just, you know, really just capitalizing. Making that taking it to the next level of what a cinematic, you know, wrestling experience should be. Oh, and he's gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. Love it. Nice touch. With Hecate's hanging from the rafters, there's only one more loose end to tie up for Guildford. Now look at this. This is interesting, right? Hey guys, everything is going according to plan. I the Great will finally have peace between our people. Now I gotta go and fix myself. Hmm. Make sure she does. Oh boy, see the double cross is right there from the beginning. Like I said, a kill corp isn't letting anybody out. So it's an interesting piece here though now. So if Leon wins, I'm guessing it'll be over. The Kill Club will win. The machine isn't going to fight one of its own. They're not going to do that. But now, if Russian Crush wins, then she'll move on to face the machine. But she doesn't know she has to fight. She thinks that Leon is going to lay down for her. Um, this isn't going to happen. Just everything like I said about um, you know, the videography, the intro, everything that gets you. Something up our sleeve. You don't cross the boss. And you know what I like about it too. Um, and it's kind of a small little thing. There's no like name cards. There's none of that fancy like. WWE kind of style graphics, even like some of the other indie show graphics of saying the wrestler's name, like, this is as if we are in Kill City watching an underground tournament. Um, you wouldn't have a lot of that flashy videography to show name cards and this and that. She doesn't realize the deal's on. So while it's very well filmed, it, it has, the set is amazing, it's also shows that it is kind of this kind of underground live fight. Really interesting. Can anything conquer Kilcore? Russian Crush just ravaging the larger Leon here. 
she's determined to complete this mission. Good gravy. Leon's just such a great character. We hope to get him on the show too. And Russian Crush, that would all be, you know, great. Everybody would be great. All these guys and girls would be amazing to have and talk to. So many questions on them, even on like the story, their background, like just everything. How did Leon get a line with Kill Club? How did he, you know, get to Mr. work for such an evil corporation? Where he seems like he would kind of be that badass. Leon anarchist. wins. Imagine if the maker had to meet his own machine. You see now, the commentator just mentioned it as well, and that's what I'm saying. Like, would the fight happen, or would they, they actually lay down? It is funny because he is the maker. Colossal domination from the brute. She wanted. Oh, here we go. All fired up. That crowd outside really, really hot for Russian Cross to win this. Call the ring with the gray and the white, the metal, and blends in. Spare fair fight against Killcore. Ah, oh, spare! Look at that. Ha, that was short-lived. for what she did to Bounty of the Wasteland. <laughs> this is what happens when you compete in America's most badass tournament. And that it is, folks. It really is America's most badass tournament. I mean, there's nothing out there like it, and this is crazy, and this is totally badass. Takes pro wrestling to the next level. And for me, it's at, like, just the right level of maturity. It's not this blood Fast, you know, swearing and crazy, you know, kind of, you know, not it's really like professional. But either is it, you know, your, you know, your GTV kitty stuff. So, like I said, for me, it's a perfect harmony of everything. All my interests all blended together into one group. Oh, she finished him. I love that effect. That's just great. Just... I can't believe she pulled this thing off. She actually did it. So now it will be the Russian cross first the machine. This is going to be insane. And if she wins, now she wins, right? Oh, no! Right? She's on her way to the finals. But wait. 
means. Oh no. I always get my way. Bring out the machine. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, look at that visual and the lighting and everything. Perfect. This is just it's stunning. Oh, everything is blue and it's no longer about this. the mission anymore. She's fighting for her life here. Right? Like I do feel like this is kind of like Mortal Kombat, kinda of like Twisted Metal, kinda of like Street Fighter. Where you got these characters and you wanna see them win, you wanna see, you know. Well, what happens if this one was to win? Would they gain the fame? What happens if this one was to win? You, you have all that. Um, this is just great. This is great storytelling because you're getting invested in these characters. And they've only had like one match or a couple of matches, some of them. Some of them just won. Like, I would love to know all the stories of Dr. Mercury or Mason X. And, you know, see him, you know, do all this, you know, pre kill city cup stuff. This isn't even fair. He's not even human. Well, how do these people all even live in Kill City? Do they live in houses? Do they they live on the streets? Do they live in tents? So many questions. So many questions I have. I mean, I did try to get to talk to Mr. Kill. He had to nicely decline some political crap. But like I said, we did talk to the Queen, and she was, you know, she told us as much as she could. It, it was great, though. That was great. And you can check that interview out on our channel on the BSW podcast. She's got the weight of the world. But like I said, I got a lot, a lot of questions. And I'm hoping, you know, to see a lot of, you know, prequel and sequel to this movie. This machine's unstoppable. Producer Luke just did a fantastic job with this. Really. Uh, his vision was just amazing. And now, uh, you know, just uh, most respect for him and his product and what he did, you know, here with this. And everybody that I talked to just said it was just a pleasure working for him and they had such you know, a great time. Like I said, that's what really even gets me even more into this is the wrestlers themselves are so enthusiastic about this project. And they all just let their creativity flow. It's great talking to someone just seeing, you know, you know, the ideas they have. This match too is really good. Very entertaining. Brian Cage, phenomenal, you know, athlete. Great actor too. <laughs> um He's actually an overall great guy. Um, my wife follows him a lot on social media. She talks to him sometimes. She, she'll message him. And he actually, like, answers her and tells, like, says things. Like, when we first got married, she asked him for, like, any new marriage advice. And, like, he actually got back to her within, like, the day. It was pretty cool, I have to say. You know, it's just a lot of respect for that. Um, you know reach back to a She's going in for the kill. Such. This could be it. Oh no. Jesus oh my goodness. Christ. That's right. I have to go with the commentator here. That, that's crazy. I haven't. That, that's a crazy move right there. Look at that. Oh my god. This might be it. And Kill City Cup might stay with Kill Corp. <laughs> oh 
love the kill. Only do business with kill court. You might as well just dig your own damn grave. What is he doing with the chair? He's gonna kill her with that thing. Oh, wait a second. This thing isn't over. There's still hope for humanity. Oh! Oh my goodness. That's a great visual right there. More special effects. Look at Brian Cage. You killed my boy. Look at like he just did like a thousand milligram edible, just chilling. Oh my goodness. This is this is wild. Wild. You crossed me. You didn't feel like you promised. You know, maybe you're too young to understand. Life is full of disappointments. <laughs> I'll be back. And you can grab that. You know what this means, don't you? What? I'm gonna have to do another competition. That's great. Bravo, bravo, bravo. What a great, great movie, folks. Honestly, just great. See, what a great cast this has. said folks great great movie um check it out go to kill city cup i'm gonna you know link them in the info section on this video check them out as well see all the other videos they have see what's gonna be in the future for kill city cup because i mean this can't just be the end of it this has been like i said great movie um and you know just um, it's been great just working, you know, talking with some of the wrestlers, talking with Luke, talking with all these people involved in the film. It's just something special. Um, and I do, re you know, I do recommend checking it out. Go on, like I said, to the YouTube, hitting that subscribe button, show some support, and checking it out. Again, you're probably going to want to watch it again. It is worth the watch. Thank you, everybody, for checking along. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. Have yourself a great day. Versace Stoner, out. Thank you.